This is a mistake I see people make so often when they first start decluttering. So today I want to talk about one big thing that might be holding you back in your decluttering journey. And if you're anything like me, after you hear this, you're going to smack yourself in the face and say, of course, make sure to stick around until the end of this video, because I have a huge announcement that I want to make as well. What's up fam and welcome back. My name is Marissa and I'm a minimalist mom and my mission is to help you conquer your clutter and simplify your way to a happier and better life. Now the whole reason that this video came about is because I saw a quote and if you know me, if you've been around here a while, you'll know that I love quotes. I love all sorts of quotes, thoughtful quotes, funny quotes, cheesy quotes. Actually, the cheesier the better. I think I am as close as someone can possibly get to becoming an actual piece of cheese. So anyway, the other day I saw a quote and it was by Michelangelo, the painter and the sculptor Michelangelo, not the turtle that eats pizza. And what he said was, I saw the angel in the marble and I carved until I set him free. And I thought that that was just such a beautiful way for him to explain how he was able to lift a masterpiece out of a piece of raw marble. And then when I was thinking about it, I realized that is exactly what we are trying to do with our homes when we are decluttering. And that's when I realized that a lot of us might be decluttering or moving towards minimalism backwards. I've mentioned before on this channel that I used to be a binge eater, and it's something that I struggled with after all of the trauma and losses in my early life. And one of the side effects of binge eating was that I gained weight. So what did I do? Well, like most people probably do, when I gained weight, I would go on a diet. And I think that we can all agree that diets suck. So I would diet for a little while and get back to my normal weight, but then what do you know, I would start binge eating again, gain the weight back, and then the whole process would repeat itself. And after a while, I came to realize that that's because the dieting wasn't addressing the root cause of the binge eating. It was only addressing the symptoms. The same thing goes for decluttering. If you just remove the clutter, without addressing the root cause of why the clutter got there in the first place, then you're going to find that the clutter works its way back into your life again. So what I want to do today is to introduce you to a three part system for starting to shift your mindset around decluttering, which will not only help you be more intentional with your decluttering, but also make it much more easy to keep your home clutter free. And I'm a big fan of acronyms, so I'm gonna call this the AIM method. The first phase is the attention phase. And I've said this before, but I believe that your clutter is speaking to you. It's trying to tell you something. And I mentioned this in my video on how we extreme decluttered 95% of our stuff. What my clutter was saying to me was that I was sad and I was lonely after the loss of my loved ones and my childhood home. And it was also saying that I felt too guilty and too scared to let go because I was carrying those things around with me that basically to me represented those people and the memories that I had of them. And if you're like me, you probably have more than just physical clutter. You probably also have mental clutter or old habits that you're working hard to break or maybe you have toxic relationships either with yourself or with someone else that are hurting you. So looking at my clutter and hearing the message that it was communicating to me about my thoughts and my beliefs and my emotions that I had buried underneath all of those layers helped me to finally be able to let go, break free and move forward with my life. The next phase is the intention phase and a few minutes later. The next phase is the intention phase. And when I tell you this, it's gonna sound so simple, but hear me out. Before you start decluttering a room, you stand in that room and you set your intention for that space. So what does that mean? That means standing in a room and actually taking the time to think about what the purpose of the room is and what kind of energy you want it to have. So let's take your bathroom, for example. What do you do in the bathroom? I mean, besides use the toilet, of course. Maybe you love taking long baths in the bathroom and you get ready in the morning and you do your hair and your makeup. And what you want for your bathroom is a space to relax and calm down and do self-care in. But if you have countertops that are full of clutter 
or maybe piles of clothing or dirty towels lying on the floor or even boxes that don't belong in there stacked up in the bathroom, then that's not really aligning with the intent of the bathroom, which is to be a restful, relaxing place for you to take care of yourself and refresh yourself. So if you don't set intentions for each room before you start decluttering, you might find yourself just shifting clutter around and it moves out temporarily, but then it starts to creep right back in again very quickly. And going back to that quote by Michelangelo, you need to see the masterpiece that's underneath all the layers of clutter that you're trying to lift out. And the third phase is motion. And most of us have heard of Newton's first law of motion, which basically means that a body in motion tends to stay in motion and a body at rest tends to stay at rest. So once you focus your attention and you've set your intentions, then you're ready to get the ball rolling. Whatever it takes to get you up and moving, you can turn on a declutter with me video from one of your favorite content creators and listen to it in the background as you declutter as well. Or you can set a timer for 15 minutes and just try to declutter a small area of your home that's been bugging you each day. Say you want to attack your kitchen countertops one day and maybe your entryway the next. Some people like to use printables or checklists. And if you like to use checklists to keep you on track, I have a free 10 page printable PDF checklist that I will link down in the description box below for you to check out. Again, it's totally free. But the main thing is just to get up and start decluttering anything that doesn't align with your intentions for what you want that space and the purpose of that space to be. And just like Michelangelo, over time, you're gonna chip away at that clutter and that mess and that stress until finally you reveal the beautiful home that was lying beneath all of that clutter. And hopefully you're gonna change your habits so that it doesn't come back. And that brings us to the big announcement that I wanted to make on today's video. So you might not have realized this, but since last November, I've been in the middle of a massive declutter. And what I was decluttering was not my home or my physical space, but it was my blog and my YouTube channel. You see, for a long time now, I felt that my blog and my YouTube channel were out of alignment with what I wanted and where I wanted to go as a content creator. Back when I first started, my blog was called Squirrels of a Feather, and I called it that because I was one of those moms who didn't have all of their ducks in a row. I had squirrels, and they were at a rave. And I wanted to help other people who also felt the same way I did. But over time, what I came to realize is that I didn't really resonate with that name anymore. I wasn't that frantic squirrel anymore, running back and forth, going nuts, trying to find her nuts. Oh, and also I used to get emails all the time of people saying, I thought your name was Squirrel Sofa Feather and asking me what squirrels had to do with minimalism, which I totally get it. So I guess like my little random cute thought train wasn't translating so well into what my blog was about. But for a long time, because I am the way that I am, I did not want to change. Because for me, change has always been scary. And so I was still trying to fit into this small, comfortable space that I had created for myself. But then what I came to realize is I needed to stop trying to sh shrink myself down to keep fitting in a space that I had long since outgrown. And so that's why I made the decision that I'd been fighting with myself over two years about, which was to split my blog. And if you've been with me from the very beginning, don't worry because Squirrels of a Feather is still going to exist and I'm going to keep it as a place to share my favorite recipes and meal prep tips. And actually in my last video, I got tons of requests from you guys to share my rice pancake recipe and some other recipes and meal planning ideas. So I hope to do that soon. So anyway, today I'm happy to formally announce that the new blog and YouTube channel is live. If you wanna check it out, you can go to www.atozenlife.com and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. I chose the name A to Zen Life because I believe that no matter who you are, where you live or what stage of life you're in, you can conquer your clutter and simplify your way to a happier and better life. If I did it, you can do it too. And I would be absolutely honored to help you with that 
process from beginning to end. And when I say end, of course, it's more metaphorical because I believe that the path to minimalism and intentional living never truly ends. It's a path that you can walk forever and learn and grow on as long as you want to. But I want you to know that no matter how far you go, I'm happy to help you open the door and hold your hand for as long as you need me to until you find your own place and your own pace. Wow, I'm getting emotional about it. I guess it wouldn't be me if I wasn't getting a little bit emotional about it, guys. As far as the new blog and YouTube channel go, please be gentle with me because you might find that some things aren't in the proper place or maybe some links don't lead where they should. And uh, I'm working behind the scenes to try to fix all that. I am a one woman show. So let me know nicely, please, if you find anything that's not working properly or you're not you know, getting your emails or something like that. And if you have any blog posts or video ideas that you want to see from me, make sure to go down and drop them down in the comment section below to let me know because I always keep a running list of ideas and I would love to hear your thoughts. You guys, I love helping people simplify their homes so that they can create a happier and better life and space for their families. So if any of that sounds good to you, I want you to hit that like button and maybe consider going down and hitting the little red subscribe button down below to join our minimalist family here on YouTube. Stay tuned for next week. Make sure that you have all of your notifications turned on because next week we are diving deep into decluttering and minimalism again. But until then, if you're looking for some other inspiration, check out one of these videos and I'll see you again next week. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.